Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today I'm gonna to be talking you through the MAC bronzing collection for summer. This is their summer collection. It's already here in the UK. It's on the MAC website, it's on ASOS, Feel Unique, all the places you can usually get these MAC collections. It is not yet available in the US. At the time of filming this, it's not yet available in the US, but people like to make me look a fool. So it'll probably just pop up while I'm filming this and make me look silly, but it's not currently available in the US at the time of filming because you guys have the Mac Selena collection currently, which we didn't get here in the UK. So I'm assuming that Mac is just letting that collection have its moment and then it will drop the bronzing collection and it will be available for you very soon, any minute any day now it's coming. So I did originally say I wasn't gonna get anything from this collection in my will I buy it video, but that was before I saw the products inside. And to be honest with you, there's just not a lot out there to review at the moment. And I was just crying out for something that was worth reviewing, something that had some interest in it. And once I started seeing some of the products, I was really interested in the Face Glaze, which is a brand new product from MAC. And also this lip that I'm wearing immediately called my name as soon as I saw it. So I asked you guys and you said, yes, please. We would like to see a review on the collection so here it is. So let's talk you through what is in this collection. First up there are two bronzers, £23.50 each. There are five foiled eyeshadows at £19 each. Five lipsticks of different finishes. There are three lusters, one dazzle finish and one creme sheen at £17.50. There are four lip glosses at £16. There are four shades of the new strobe face glaze at £21. There is one new shade of the strobe body lotion, a bronze shade for £25. A fan brush, the 143 for £34.50, and a bronze light fix plus, which is brand new for £21. So here in the UK, to give you fair warning in the US, the products that sold out the quickest are the face glaze in the shade that I have, which is Magic Hour. That was the shade that literally disappeared everywhere immediately so that is the thing if you want to get it to move quickly on that was the first thing that sold out the bronzers also sold out pretty quickly and the bronze light fix plus those were the things that sold out the fastest everything else was kind of easy enough to get your hands on so here are the products that i picked these are my picks from this collection the products that caught my eye that i thought were the most suited to what i like and what i look for in makeup so first up is the bronzer i chose the shade totally topeless because the lighter one looked like it'd probably be too light for me now that it's summer um, and that was absolutely the case i don't think this is going to work on deeper skin tones than mine. I'm kind of between my summer and winter shade right now, but I'd say any one deeper than an NC40, it's not gonna do a huge amount for you. I picked up one shade of the foiled eyeshadow, and this is the shade Monococo, um, which is a gorgeous sort of bronzy, light taupey bronze shade, which I thought was perfect for summer. I picked up, as I said, one shade of the Strobe Face Glaze in the shade Magic, Magic Hour, sorry. And last but not least, I picked up one lipstick in the shade Can's Do, which is a luster finish. So let's get on with the swatches and the demo of these products, starting off with the bronzer. So I actually swatched these against the other MAC bronzers that I have so that you can decide whether this is for you or not and whether it'll work on your skin tone, if it's your type of shade. Next up I'm swatching Canyon Dreaming, which is a bronzer from the Light Wonder collection in the lighter shade. And then the same collection, Sun Soaked Strip, which was just the darker shade but as you can see they're not hugely different when swatched next to each other and last but not least I'm swatching Give Me Sun an absolute MAC classic so that should give you some idea of the shade of this bronzer it's definitely by far the darkest of those that I have there and you can see it's got that beautiful reddish undertone that I like in my bronzers so now I'm applying the bronzer with my Sony G face pro bronzer brush I have foundation on but I have not set the foundation with powder so this is going straight on top of my foundation which has had time to dry down it blended out 
absolutely seamlessly. I'm always a little wary of these kind of cream to powder type of formulas, but it blended effortlessly. It built quite nicely. It was very, very seamless into the skin. Absolutely beautiful finish, very natural matte kind of finish. Um, but I will say, as you can see, it is just about bronzing me, but it's not showing up a huge amount on my complexion. And I am really just a medium to tan skin tone. So that doesn't bode well for people with deeper skin tones. There really needed to be a third shade of this bronzer in order to cater to deeper skin. I'm also putting some of that into my crease of my eye using the Detail Pro from Sonogy and contouring my nose a little bit with that. It blends out again really really nicely on the eye. This lends itself really really well to use all over the face so you can actually do a full face using just a few products from this collection. It's going to give you a beautiful summer look. So next up I went in with the eyeshadow, the Monococo Foiled Shadow and I'm, you can use this wet or dry but I decided just to use it dry and use my MAC 242. Again you could use a finger and you'll get more of a shimmery, more pronounced finish but I just kind of wanted to see how it went on with my MAC 242 and it was really beautiful, very very pretty, no fallout, it looked very wet and shimmery on the lid, absolutely beautiful. Love this eyeshadow and the formula, super pretty. Really, really happy with that shade. I think it's just the perfect summer lid shade. Next up, I'm going in with the Strobe Face Glaze. And let me tell you, this was the surprise of this collection for me. I wasn't expecting to like this. I really have no interest in liquid highlights like they always cause me a little bit of trouble they're always a bit tricky to make work with other products but this is going on over the top of my bronzer I didn't feel it moved anything it didn't feel sticky it's very much of a unique texture I was expecting it just to be a liquid but it is almost like a Vaseline that is like the texture it reminds me of it's like a sort of jelly texture and it's very much a dewy glass skin glow rather than shimmer it doesn't feel wet to apply but it doesn't feel sticky either it's just absolutely beautiful and it gave me gorgeous dewy skin and was completely unproblematic when it came to the application. I was really surprised. I didn't expect to like this. I really only picked it up because I thought it would help you guys out. Um, but I'm really, really happy I did. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And last but not least, I'm going in with the Cans Do Luster Lipstick and this is just beautiful. It is a luster, so it's not fully opaque on first pass. I'm like, using a fair amount building up there to get more coverage, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the Luster lipsticks. I think they're really hydrating on the lips. I love the gorgeous, glowy, natural finish to them. I just think they're absolutely perfect for spring and summer, especially this shade, which is right up my street. I then just went in with my Glow Play blush from MAC on, in the shade Groovy on my cheeks and some mascara, and this is the finished look. So there you have it. I think my absolute favorite product from this collection is the face glaze. I wasn't expecting it. I really didn't think I would love this as much as I do, but I really think it's a much more unique, much more different product than I expected it would be. I love this lipstick. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the sheen and the fact that it matches my nails. It doesn't hurt either. I, I mean, I loved everything from this collection honestly the bronzer is a little disappointing because it, it needs to if as the deeper shade it needs to be deeper like I should have to go in with a very light hand with this bronzer instead of building up as I was having to so that's a little disappointing that we're getting these collections still from MAC without those deeper bronzers that people are crying out for. I didn't pick up the Stray Body Lotion because I just don't really use bronzing body products. Um, and I already have the original Stray Body Lotion from MAC and I just, I don't love it. The same thing goes for the bronze like spray. Those are really shimmery and actually in daylight or sunlight, your whole face looks very shimmery so again not my favorite product from mac which is why i didn't pick either of them up the glosses they look nice but you know their glosses didn't feel the need to pick anything like that 
up and I really don't need another fan brush certainly not like a giant big one that costs £34.50 anyway so if you were just wondering which one product I would recommend it's definitely this stray face glaze given that it's limited edition and it is quite different to anything certainly that I've tried it would be worth picking up versus anything else in here that you you know probably already have something similar or you certainly can get something similar if you especially wanted to so I hope this video was helpful and I would love to see you in the next one otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye